Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm sharing another version of my popular cinnamon rolls recipe. So my original one has been such a great hit with everybody and I've had so many great reviews about it. It's a really, really great recipe. So today I'm modifying and we're making a double blueberry cinnamon roll. So we're adding dried blueberries into the dough and then we're adding fresh blueberries inside. So you get a double hit of blueberries and I absolutely love, love the flavor of these rolls and they're actually really quite simple to make. So let's get started on our dough first. So into a large bowl I'm going to add half a cup of warm milk and I'm going to sprinkle in a teaspoon and a half of dry yeast. I'm just going to let this stand for about five minutes and let that yeast dissolve with the milk. After five minutes you want to give this a good whisk, get all the yeast dissolved and now we can add the rest of our ingredients. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of melted butter. I'm going to add one large egg. And add a quarter cup of white granulated sugar and half a teaspoon of salt. And just give that a good whisk until everything is well combined. And now it's time to add in our flour. So I have two cups of bread flour and I like to use bread flour because it yields a really soft dough but this is going to work great with all-purpose flour as well. So I'm going to sprinkle some in. I'm just going to whisk it in at first until I get a nice batter. So once your batter comes together into a soft dough, you can go ahead and turn it out onto your work surface. I'm going to knead in the rest of the flour by hand. At this point I'm just going to knead it lightly until it's nice and smooth. And at this point I'm going to knead in my dried blueberries. So I'm going to add half a cup of dried blueberries and I like to add the dried blueberries into the, into the dough because it's going to add more blueberry flavor. So I kind of just put them on top and then work them in. And once your dough is all done, you want to prep a large bowl. Just sprinkle some flour on the inside. Place your dough into the bowl. You want to go ahead and cover it with a cloth or a dish towel and set it into a warm corner of your kitchen and let it proof until it's doubled in size. Once your dough has doubled in size, you want to go ahead and turn it out onto your work surface. We're going to pat it down. I'm just going to roll it out into a nice large rectangle. And now for my filling. So I have half a cup of packed brown sugar. To that I'm going to add a tablespoon of ground cinnamon and a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. It's going to add so much great flavor to our recipe. So I'm going to spread that over a quarter cup of softened butter and we're also going to add a cup of fresh blueberries. First I'm going to spread my butter. Just toss it right on top of your dough. Take a spoon or a spatula and you want to spread it evenly across the whole sheet of dough. Want to make sure you get everything, spread it to the edges. All right, so I'm going to spread my brown sugar and cinnamon and nutmeg mixture. I'm just going to use my hands and really work it in with that butter so I have a nice even layer of all this goodness on the inside. You want to make sure you spread the brown sugar mixture to the edges and just work it into that butter until it's a nice thick paste. We're going to add our fresh blueberries. Spread your blueberries out in a nice thin layer here. All right, so now we're just going to gently roll our dough up. Start at one end. Just turn everything in. Just like this. For this next step, you want to take a really sharp knife and now we're just going to divide our dough. I'm going to make eight rolls today. I'm going to use a sharp knife so you're not squishing the dough. You want to slice it all the way through. Today I'm going to be using this nine inch glass dish and I like the circular shape. I think it works really great for this recipe. So what we're going to do, just add the rolls right into there. Just arrange them on the outside edge first. You want to leave a little bit of space because these are going to puff up once we let them sit on the counter and proof. And once you've arranged them in your pan, you want to go ahead and cover them back up. And I'm going to set this on my stove top. So I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just going to let these proof again until they double up in size. 
Once your rolls have proofed and doubled in size, you want to have your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you want to bake them for about eight minutes and then take them out of the oven. And then this is the secret to my cinnamon rolls. We're going to go ahead and pour over about a quarter cup of heavy cream over the top. And you can also use half and half for this. And then we're going to put them back into the oven and let them finish baking until they're a nice golden brown color on the top. So while my blueberry rolls are finishing in the oven, I'm gonna work on my simple sugar glaze. So in a small bowl here, I have a quarter cup of cream and I'm gonna add just a splash of vanilla extract to that. And then I'm gonna start adding my confectioner sugar. So I'm gonna add about a cup and a half and you want the sugar glaze to have just the right consistency. You don't want it to be too thick or too thin. And how gorgeous do these look? I love that nice golden brown color and that brown sugar has really caramelized. And once they've cooled off a little bit, you can add the sugar glaze, just swoop back and forth across the top, and then reserve all the extra to top off each serving. And that's it for our cinnamon rolls. So once you take them out of the oven, let them cool for about 20 minutes, and then you could dig in. And I like to add extra icing on top, so I make a little extra. If you don't want that much, you can just cut that recipe in half. And now it's time to give it a try. I want to say when these were in the oven, your house will smell like cinnamon roll heaven. It just smells so, so good. I love the addition of these blueberries in here. Mmm. This is so, so good, guys. You will love all the flavors. So you get that true cinnamon roll flavor. They're ooey, gooey, and then you get addition of all those blueberries, the fr fresh blueberries inside, and the dough. You have so much berry flavor here. And the secret to these light and fluffy cinnamon rolls is the addition of that cream halfway through baking. So next time you're looking for a great cinnamon roll recipe, give these a try. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.